Hi, everybody. I'm Jones. And I'm Man. And, and we're, we're Jones and Man. Man. And today we are Jonesing off of this Zaya Rum. Jones, I think that we, if out of all the things that we've had, all the videos that we've done, this is probably one of the things that we've talked about the most. Yes. Um, Zaya has been one of our favorites. I think that I ended up... Um, it was a gift set favorite. Holiday time, my favorite time of the year. Went into a store, saw this cool with a basket weaving neck, two nice glasses gift set of this room. I really wanted the glasses. Um, I like that it started with a Z. So I said, hey, I'm going to go for it. And it changed our lives um, in the world of rum. Uh, so, uh, I, I mean, I, I think we we talked to death. So I would just say, any, anything you want to add about Zaya? Well, I can tell you, and, and because we do drink it so much, I didn't do a lot of research on it. Um, I can tell you that it's from Trinidad. Mm -hmm. um, it's made from sugar cane. So, it, and it... But it is very sweet, and we both know it's very sweet. Right. Um, the the downside to it is, at thirty five dollars a bottle, the basket weave that they used to have on the neck of the bottle and the bottle design was really cool, and it made the bottle. It made it feel like, like a more a, expensive. Yeah, like a more expensive. Um, e run. Even this, uh, the the glass was a little bit thicker uh, yeah. on it. It had a a, a a more of an indentation at the bottom. Yeah. Um, like you mentioned, this neck was all covered in a like a, a basket yeah. weave around it. But I think that there was a change in the factory, in the, the location of the distribution factory. Okay. Um, that when that change happened, so did the bottle design and the neck. Uh, and the downside is is I've also heard that um, it, some of the flavor changed. Some of the too. flavor may have changed. Haven't been fortunate fortunate enough to have a old and a new side by side to really validate that but I have heard that it's a little bit different yeah. um I've been off Zaya for a while now because we've been doing this I've been trying like every you know instead of drinking the same thing that I'm normally used to drinking I I'm trying to try something new every single yeah, time yeah, yeah, yeah. um so I think it's going to be good to get back to Zaya and and see if I can fall in love with it again my uh, my hope and desire is that, you know, we've tried several rums. So I want to see, and, and Zaya has been top of the line for me on my premium rums. So now I want to see how this spice rum stacks up against the uh, Bamboo, the Rum Barcelo, you know, and the rum <coughs> and the other rums that we've tried, the El Dorado. Right. Um, I want to see how, if it still holds that high um, status that I, I put it on, that pedestal. Yeah. So uh, let's crack it open and, okay. and take some shots. So this is Zaya is a twelve year aged rum. Yeah. So I don't think it falls in the spiced rum category, does it? Uh, I think it's just aged. I think it's just aged. It, it may not be spiced. Um, it, but you know, right away, I mean, you get really cool uh, vanilla notes in smelling it. Um, in the the, uh, it's very aromatic. I mean, this is uh, by smell it takes me back to. The first time that we tried Zaya, and um, it's a very romantic moment because this this was top of the line yeah, as this far was as top of the line back then, several years ago. Clink them and drink them. Um, house Let's rules. Two neat shots. Yeah, two neat shots. So let's put this on ice. Two on the rocks. Yeah, this is uh It's like coming home. Uh maybe yeah, a little different? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clink them and drink. So I think we've been a little quiet on this one. 
Um, um, going I'm, back, circling around after having uh, sampled so many different things, um, I'll kind of kick it off. You know, for me, uh, I think that I feel a little differently about Zaya now, having broadened my rum taste than I did originally, but I still love it um, as uh, a rum. You know, I still get it's it's a it's a really strong caramel, vanilla kind of flavoring to it. Um, it's not really that spicy at all. It's really smooth. Um, I, I think it makes, to me, one of the best rum and cokes that you can ever pour. Mm. So, is this a favorite? Um, you know, still a favorite? It's, it, to me, it's still a favorite. Still a favorite. I mean, I, you know, first time I've tasted it, I hadn't tasted anything like it before because my uh, experience with rum was Bacardi. Uh, maybe uh, a Captain Morgan's, and this was so far above that and beyond that that I was like, "Oh my God, this is this is the greatest thing on earth." But then bringing into the fold an El Dorado, um, a Ron Barcelo, um, a Plantation, some of those yeah, other things that I've had, that I'm like, "Okay, now I know that there's that 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 high quality, flavorful vanilla notes." Um, those rums out there, it, I, I don't want to say it's not as, because you always be special. You always be special to me. I don't know about that. But it wasn't as special. It's, it, it's less special now that I know that there's other things out there like it. What do you think? I will say that um, it's still a favorite. Yeah. But the other rums, have shown me that um, this is not quite as high end as I, I thought previously. Yeah, it's not as smooth. Um, it doesn't have some of the the rich flavors that I remember. Mm. Uh, I remember when we when we first had it. Like you said, you know, I was used to the Bacardi's, and this was so far away from it. You know, I had a lot of good vanilla and caramel notes, and it still has that. But it also now as I, I drink it um, on the rocks, I get kind of a minerally taste to it. It's not a bad. It's, <coughs> it, it's not bad, but um, it's and it's still smooth, and it's okay to sip. But it, it doesn't have as much sweetness as some of the other rums we tried. So yeah. I'm definitely, it, and it still makes a wonderful rum and coke. And you know, and I think part of, I kind of feel like part of that may even be. Because I've watched some other reviews, uh, and I've heard people say kind of the same thing, yeah, it, a change in the recipe. Yeah, it does taste like it's a change in the recipe. Yeah. It's not as sweet as it yeah. used to be, um, as I remember. Yeah. That basket weave bottle, I mean, it it was just so, so much sweeter than um, this one This one here is. This, this almost tastes like a, um, more like a brandy, where it's not as sweet. Yeah. I mean, it's still good. Um, I would definitely say if there's any representatives from um, the Zaya that's 12 year age um, that could kind of fill us in um, with any notes around whether there was a change yeah. to the recipe or was it just a change in the bottle. I'd love to, to find more. Uh, I'd love to tour the factory yeah. um, for sure. Um, but I do, I, feel, I do feel like maybe there's a, a little bit of a difference. But I don't know. I don't. I don't know if if I hadn't seen so many other things, I would probably say it's it's just because my spectrum has been broadened so much with all of the different rums that we've tried. Still love it. Uh, I would say it's it's still a favorite for me because I, I know that once we wrap up here and I throw some coke in there, it's it's going to be back to one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, but you know, still still a favorite. Yeah. I, I definitely say. Uh, if you like a good rum and coke, if you like vanilla, um, Zaya's going to provide you a, a, an exquisite rum and coke. Um, any any other added notes? I'm really curious to know if they change the uh, distillery location. If they if it's a new still, mm. and and maybe 
the, maybe that's why. I'm maybe different. that's why. You know that that steel just hasn't been broken in all the way. You know that previous steel probably had a lot of years of use and had that flavor in, into the um, metal. But it's still a good rum. Still pretty good and excited about it. But it's it's no longer my number one. Okay. Cool. Um, well, well, there you have it, folks. Um, Zaya rum, uh, a bit of change. You grow and you evolve. Yeah, it's more you taste more. That's the cool thing about this. That's why we suggest that you guys get out and taste what we um, kind of bring to you. Um, just kind of broaden your horizon a little bit. Um, again, uh, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. Um, expect more from us in 2018. Uh, and this has been another episode of Jones, Jones and Man. Zaya Rum. Two thumbs up, still a favorite.